This is my first attempt at a hydrogen generator. Oops. This is the first one I put together. Two coils of uh, stainless steel, about a quarter inch apart approximately. Two terminals at the end, goes in water, and we charge it. So let's, uh, but I'll show you this one first, it's a little bit easier to put in. Put this in water, here, watch. Place this in the water, and then if we place the electrode, the uh, leads on the wires. That's all there is to it. Now we just need to run electricity. We'll start with six volts. Watch. Switch it on. There's nothing's happening. If you look, bubbles. You can see at the top this fizz. We'll kick it up to 12 volts. We shut it off. The bubbling basically stops. And here goes 12 volts. So a curtain of bubbles there. You can see it just bubbling away at the top. And that is brown gas. Hydrogen, hydrogen, oxygen. It will ignite. We'll see if we can do a demonstration here. I switch off the electricity. The bubbling stops. Okay, we're back. I just put some uh, fresh water in from the tap. And the water is... 69 degrees, 70 degrees, no, 69, 70 degrees. Okay, and now we'll just start with tap water. We're going to put this, uh, my original generator, in. Goes into the water, it screws on. Took this tube, and I put this tube. Okay, we get the tube in there, and the tube then goes like so. So the tube is going into the water from here. I attach my electrical leads. Like so. We watch closely. Switch on to six volts. Not a lot of activity, there's a little bit of curtain of bubbles if you see. Alright, let's uh, kick it up to 12 volts. There's 12 volts. Quite a bit of activity, and if you look down this tube, it's bubbling into this glass. Now you see the cloudy curtain of fine bubbles it's made. 12 volts of electricity, each going into a copper or a stainless steel wire. If you don't touch, you get brown gas. Now this is just tap water. Watch the difference when we put in baking soda. Okay we're back. I put uh, just about a maybe half of a teaspoon of baking soda in the water. Now it's ready for a 12 volts. Let's see what happens with the 12 volt test. No bubbles coming out of the tube in the water. Okay, 12 volts.
bubble rate decent moderate okay let's try a little bit more uh, electrolyte a little bit more baking baking soda okay I just added about another table another teaspoon of baking soda and to the water and let's see uh, if we have any different effect A quicker of a bubble curtain there bubbling out pretty nice out the, uh, the bubbler here let's see all these bubbles get out and see how good it looks generating quite a bit of bubbles nice fairly steady stream pretty quite milky putting out hydrogen now these bubbles here they will uh, explode if we light them Let's see what's going on in here. We should get right in there. Watch what happens when I turn it off. Activity just stops. Bubbling stops. Okay, we're back. I put a little bit more of uh, baking soda in the water. Let me see what that how that reacts. Um, tube in here. I'm gonna try a little something for you, a little demonstration. We're gonna kick up 12 volts. Nice curtain of bubbles. Let's see if we can get that again. That was really cool. Right, clear and go. We're getting a pretty good bubble rate. Let's see what happens when we ignite it. Fire in the hole! How odd. We just reverse polarity and see what this does. Fire in the hole! Oh, decent. Did you see that pop? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Here's another pop. <laughs> All right, Got twelve volts. Yeah, I know it's old. Here we go, I'll show this one. Burn a hole! <laughs> I wonder if it's because it's deeper. Let's raise that. Burn a hole! <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, let's try it again. All right, that's how it's done.